passing it to you. I'm passing it to you. Yeah. What about Gatorade's legal? I mean, they pay me. They, they Pepsi. It's a Pepsi product. I can drink this one. Pepsi. Pepsi. What? They a Pepsi product. Pay my bills. Michael, since we handed off the middle of your question, why don't you ask your question and get these ladies if you like? Yeah, I think I will. I think I'll follow up with Chelsea. Uh, I was asking Becky about just the, you know, being in a game as a, even as a player that had this many exciting moments, uh, obviously with the game five of uh, 2016 with you guys winning with the Sparks was a, a huge game. But have you ever been in a game that had this many huge plays by different people um, uh, it, with so many high stakes? Um, this... <sighs> I'm trying to think. Um, it's pretty close um, with those moments. I think that this is probably the game where there was so many back and forth. Oh, they're going to win it. Oh, no, they're going to win it. Oh, we're now we're going to overtime. Like that in 2016, it didn't go into overtime. Like it was done. Like we had five minutes, another five minutes of playing. Um, so it's pretty high up there. Um, it, it, yeah, that's what playoff basketball is all about. It felt good. Thank you. Hey, ladies, congratulations on a very hard fought win. Uh, Raquana, this question is for you. I mean, you were just in the zone uh, when it came to being behind the arc. You kind of struggled early on, but you found your way. Uh, what was how, what was the confidence level as far as you being able to get the really lock in and really be a key factor to this this win today? Um, my teammates. Um keep telling me shoot the ball like relax um the ask was I doing push-ups before the game or something because everything was so strong and long but um just staying in it I'm trying to stay locked in on a defensive end let my offense come to me thank you Cassandra you there Yes, yes, <laughs> here. Um, question for Asia. When Sue hit that shot, seemed like that was going to be the end of the game, but I watched your disposition and you ran over to your teammates and stayed ready. Uh, what did you say to them at, in that moment? And how did your mindset shift so quickly to we're still going to win this game? Man, we all be asking us these in the moment questions. Uh, I really don't have an idea what I said to my teammates. <laughs> uh, but the biggest thing was just we live for those moments. You you work hard for these bright light games and just staying in it and understanding that we've worked hard uh, to get to where we are and, and never lose sight of that. So um, I can't guarantee you what I said to them, but we came out and we were locked in and, and Jackie made a big shot for us. Uh, after Jackie's side, how much um, yeah, that was a lot of momentum. We said in the huddle um, that the momentum is on our side right now, and that was a play. Um, it was deflating for the home team, you know, that we got to go into overtime. And we were ready. Um, we came out locked in for those five minutes. I can be pretty loud. Uh, the focus you all had particularly at the beginning of the game, and then they kind of continued on. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, what have you done the past 24, 48 hours to kind of find that focus and hone in where you are now? Um. I would just say like our meetings are tighter. It's more concise. We're on the same page. Any adjustment that we make, we're making it in game and we're talking about it. Um, even with the type of layups that they were getting. They went on a run. They punched us hard with that run, getting some backdoor cuts. Um, the crowd was in it. You know, as an away team, you can't have those types of moments. But I think it's our communication when we get into the huddles um, to go back what, what got us here and why it got us to this point. Um, so, we were, so we were locked in. We didn't really waver. Like, we were still strong. More years, more for the Bills, and they'll get ready for game four. I mean, understanding that this is what we do at the end of the day, we have to stay locked in. We're playing in a hard place to play, but 
that's how champions are born. That's how things go on. You you win on the road. It's, I mean, they were hyped when they won game one because you need these games on the road. So for us, we just got to continue to stay locked into who we are. And I think the biggest thing is kind of what Chelsea said is just staying composed. You're, we're playing against a Seattle team that's been here before that can wave the storm, that no pun intended, that could like <laughs> – they know. And the biggest thing is for us to be mentally tough in those situations. So if that means going back to our room, settling down, getting something to eat and not doing anything else, then that's what it means. We got to take care of our bodies, but also our minds because game four is not about to be easy. Game three, damn sure it wasn't easy. So we really just got to lock into ourselves um, and just stay composed through the moment. Yeah. Kind of to build up off of that, kind of very hostile crowd. And yeah. Uh-huh. Um, talk about the growth you've seen from this AC team like this season compared to maybe a couple of years in the past. Yeah, I, we're locked in more than ever. <clears throat> uh, I think we had a lot of different stuff that was going on, of course, within our teams throughout the playoffs, as every team does. But this year, we're just locked in because we know what we're fully capable of. And knowing when Becky goes in halftime, that's like, okay, first half was good, but I want more out of you. I think that is what makes you push through that finish line. That's what makes you want to go ahead and be and put stuff on the line because it's like even though we played our hardest for maybe the 20 minutes we can still give more because these are the times that we play for so at the end of the day we're locked into that i'm gonna bet on us always no matter what me and greeks right. hello ladies congratulations on the win right there. What up? Uh, asia question for you wins like this how mentally stronger make you as a team Oh, this is this is huge. Uh, you know, we have a 24 hour rule when games don't go our way, but also when games go our way, we can settle in on this one. But we know the job's not done. Uh, we know they're going to come out ready and we have to be the same. This is can't be a drop off. Uh, this is still a business trip to us. And at the end of the day, we got to make sure that we come in locked in and ready to go. Oh, TC, you good? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, hello. Um, this question is for you, Asia. Um, you've made you've alluded to the fact that once you hit the playoffs, teams already know what the other team is running. You're not going to yeah. be surprised by play calls in particular. Um, with you getting the Brianna Stewart matchup a lot, um, Seattle loves to have Sue Bird scream for Brianna Stewart have kind of have a curl in. What makes that action so difficult to defend? Uh. <clears throat> I mean, it's the mismatch, you know, they're, they're playing to their strengths when they want to get a mismatch with KP on a Stewie. That's a mismatch that they want to look at, uh, obviously. Uh, but at the same time, we just, it's a team effort at the end of the day. We got to make sure that we have layers to our defense. Uh, that's key to us. That's key to our system. So, uh, they try to expose our mismatches and we try to do the same the best way we can. But at the end of the day, we got to be as a team locked in and ready to defend people individually. Thank you. No, thank you. Good job, babe. Next time, give her like three more.